Aoife Cain, what was that performance like from Dublin? Game of two halves for the whole team and for yourself? Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, we came in at half time and probably weren't happy with our standards. We, we kind of knew we know Cork really well and um, we weren't happy with how we were kind of matching them. Um, they came with a lot of pace and a lot of strength and we were probably just uh, a bit behind. Uh, I certainly was and we kind of stepped up in the second half and um, kind of started to play to our standards which is what we uh, said at half time so we were delighted with the second half. Yeah, the ferocity of the tackling and the the skill and the, just champions. Yeah, uh, well, and Cork. Um, we actually played a friendly against them in October and it was the same kind of physicality and same uh, same pace of the games. We, we knew what uh, to expect, but they really did, um, that first quarter, they really did dominate and, um, yeah, we just knew we had to step it up and we kind of did that in, yeah, in the form of tackling and, you know, keeping possession. So what does it mean to you to win four in a row? I'm delighted and uh, yeah, this one feels really special. I know the, the uh, stands are empty, but um, it feels really special and probably even more special. Um, and I can't wait to get back and see my family now and enjoy it. Why does it feel more special? Um, I think just like it goes without saying, the year that everyone's had, um, you know, players in our in our squad have had their own difficulties and um, it's hard not to get caught up in that emotion. So um, I, th I think that's why. You mentioned your squad and a few players, what they've gone through. Sinead Ahern, what she went through, and then he, she got on the last 30 seconds. I mean, that was so important. And obviously, she's gone through so much with you. Yeah, and I could, couldn't be happier for an individual. Um, she puts so much effort in, not, not just on the pitch, well, sorry, especially on the pitch, but off the pitch. She's such a brilliant leader, and I, um, I couldn't be happier for her. And she went over and laid a wreath as well. I mean, that was obviously very important and a very poignant moment for everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the year that's in it, to do something like that, the lads got to do it a couple of weeks ago and we, were, we haven't been here since, so uh, it was really special for us to do that today as well.